Will Think Film Speak podcast. And we just watched The Cloverfield Paradox. So we're just going to do an yeah. entire episode about Cloverfield as a franchise, probably. Yeah. Well, yeah. Because, I mean, we can talk about this movie, but it's not... I don't know if we'll fold the whole thing. Well, I feel like we'll just get into the other movies. Yeah, exactly. This, so, Fair enough. Starting off... Everyone needs to chill. Yeah, they can all kind of... Everybody can can just... Fuck off. Kind of fuck <laughs> off. It's a good movie. And not just, I liked it. Yeah. Well, let's see. It's still sitting at a... Uh, here, let me... Way too low. I mean, it's I... It's not good. It's like a 17 or something. Yeah, yeah. it was not that bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. my God. No, that's a good movie. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah. Had real, Well, it had a lot of cool ideas, which is pretty normal for the... Uh, Cloverfield franchise. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I feel like we waited too long to watch this mm. because I listened to those people. Mm. But then the more I thought about it as we were getting ready to watch it, I was like, these people also didn't really like the original Cloverfield that much. And I thought that was also a really good movie. I It's been a while since so. I've seen it. And I don't necessarily dislike it but i remember liking it well people dislike found footage right but they're like maybe you couldn't see anything i'm like yeah it's called found footage would you yeah would you expect right well i mean the original cloverfield is kind of like like it didn't have a very big budget or anything it didn't yeah yeah you know i know what you mean but but yeah uh I don't know. I think people probably dislike this one for its ending. Yes. Well, because even when I was looking at it and talking about it, I uh, I saw quite a few people talking about how the end of 10 Cloverfield Lane was ruined by the aliens. I'm like, I get it. You don't like what Cloverfield's about, but that's, Fine. Not, that's more about you. Like, yeah. the films are what they are. Right, yeah. No, well, first of all, if you don't like Tenant Cloverfield Lane, I don't know what the hell you're doing with your life. I don't know. I don't. I don't understand. The movies are well, just fantastic. Like, no, the ending is ruined by the alien. That was the best ending. I agree. I'm not sure what they wanted. The usual. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Something predictable. Yep. This, I felt like this movie. I'm like, I don't know why. What. I was like, this is like an Alex Jones take on a Cloverfield movie. <laughs> well, the, well the, the one conspiracy theorist or whatever um, that was that they that they showed at the beginning. I'm like, this is so Alex Jones. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, but um, yeah, I don't know. It was, it was good. It had it was interesting at least. The beginning was a little slow, and, and I think in its execution, it was a little amateurish, but it was, it was solid. It was good enough. Yeah. Well, and to a degree, this is the same reason why uh, people complain about certain episodes of Black Mirror, where they're like, well, this episode had these problems, and I'm like, yes, that's what's going to happen when you leave it to a completely different production team and director. Mm. And just call it the same thing in the same series. It's like right. you don't get the kind of continuity you would get with some kind of a series. You know, mm-hmm. <laughs> you're not going to get the same. But even if you look at Star Wars, I'm like, eh, you get the same thing in the original trilogy. Yeah. Each film has its own distinct feel because they were all yeah. directed by different people. Like, exactly. You know, and I just I think people put too much weight on that. Yeah, for sure. I mean, this guy hadn't really directed anything major. I don't know anything about him. And then he directed this film, and it's like, well, yeah, it's probably well, not going to be like 10 Cloverfield Lane or Cloverfield mm. or anything J.J. Abrams has done. Like, Well, I, I definitely think there's a bias because it's a Netflix movie. Yes. Like, I don't doubt that for a second. Well, because even when we watched Bright, I'm like, I also don't understand why the critics yeah, it, like that all over this movie. It's I mean, a good movie. Well, I mean... I mean, I had my problems with that movie, but not like they did. Yeah. Well, first, and that's another thing. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure Bright had a better rating than. It does. 
Cloverfield pet paradox was way better. I oh yeah yeah like no, it's totally, not even a question. I totally agree. Yeah. Well yeah, <laughs> and I think the only reason Bright got somewhat high reviews is because it had Will Smith, and they mm-hmm. to a certain degree <laughs> gave it credit for that at least. Yeah. But yeah, there's no one huge in this movie. I mean, there's some people I've seen. There was a ah oh, shit, I can't remember his name from IT Crowd. He was fantastic. God, he was great. Yeah. Great well, comic relief. Off, yeah. I was wondering uh, if he was going to be the comic relief. And he was. Mm-hmm. And he was good comic, comic relief. Chris O'Dowd, apparently. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Nailed it. Um. Yeah, no. I... Well, honestly, the ending was kind of... It was kind of annoying me. Because I thought it was just going to be like... Everything worked out happily ever after. I'm like, eh. I also thought that. I'm like, that is not what I watched Cloverfield for. I knew it wasn't going to happen. Yeah, I was like, something ain't right. No, no, no. Well, in the entire time, I'm like, why did they keep showing um, Hamilton's husband on Earth? I'm like, I mean, he's just kind of running around doing nothing. Like, I I was like, this has to have some sort of payoff. And then it totally did. I thought it had a great payoff in the end. Yeah. I'm like, every second that we spent watching him like totally worth it oh yeah i agree well it ended the same but slightly different than 10 cloverfield lane yeah basically but actually kind of hinted that there were aliens but then you weren't really sure if that's what everybody was really talking about because they were like oh it's just explosions and i'm like well surely that's got to be the monster from the first movie then yeah, you said that, and I did not believe you. I was like, mm-hmm. yeah, I was like, no, it's clearly got to be those things. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, yeah, it totally was. Yeah, I don't know. I think uh, a lot of people don't. Basically, aliens set like the original aliens set the bar for the trapped in space type movie. And I feel like for a lot of people, if it's not alien. Like, they just don't like it. Like, uh, what was that movie with Jake Gyllenhaal? Life. Yeah. It wasn't a great movie, but a lot of people did not like it. Yeah. I mean, th- it, there was definitely a bar that was set, and if you don't meet that bar, people just don't like it. Yeah. And I understand that to an extent, but no. Yeah, but at the same time, I don't want every movie to copy Alien just because Alien was really good. <laughs> I don't know how... I t- which is funny, because I think that movie Life got like a 70, something like that. Yeah. Way higher than this, and it was way worse. Yeah, it was not not even comparable. It was so predictable and just yeah, it was just but it was kind of bland. It was Hollywood. Yeah, and this wasn't. Yep, and that's the difference. Yeah, and the ah, these these reviewers are too attached to Hollywood. I'm like Hollywood's dying, and I say let it die, please. Yeah, I don't know if Hollywood's actually dying, but it's at least got competition now. Thank God. Yep. Well, and I just, I like these anthology where they're like, oh, yes. they all connect, but they don't really, it's not like a linear story, but, you know, they all have similarities. Right. I mean, that's why I like Black Mirror so much. So the fact that they're really running with this idea with Cloverfield is fantastic. Yeah. I'm so into it. Yeah. And I don't know, people, I, I feel like people definitely knocked this movie down because it was Netflix on my head. I feel like that gives it bonus points, if anything. That I mean, that made a lot of things more forgivable. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm like, they don't know how to, you know, they're not experts in making movies. Right. Uh, and it, de- it they're definitely going to have to find their footing, but I don't know. Well, and the nice thing, too, is as far as the movie was concerned, I looked it up. It had a $45 million budget. Really? Netflix paid $50 million for it. Jesus. Show it. So it's like the studio gets to make the movie they wanted to make. They basically, I mean, they way went over their original budget. But it worked out because Netflix still paid enough that yeah. covered their budget, and that's it. They didn't make like huge amounts of money off of it, mm-hmm. but to a certain degree, when you make an anthology type series, yeah, you're gonna have those misses where it's it's not some blockbuster that just yeah. blows well it's everything a, out of the water and gets you a bunch of money. Well, it's a Netflix movie, so it's never gonna be a blockbuster. They they just won't let it like people just won't let it happen, man. Right. I'm not trying well, to get... for this specific movie, it was probably better off going this route. Yeah. I understand yeah. why someone looked at it and was like, well, if we could sell this to Netflix, that would be better. Yeah. 
Exactly. Because even the original Cloverfield would have benefited from that probably. Yeah, I, I agree. mean, it still made a decent amount of money just because of the marketing campaign behind it. But yeah. if it wasn't for that, I don't think that movie would have made shit. No, it definitely wouldn't have. And this movie was more similar to that, I would say, than 10 Cloverfield Lane, so it also wouldn't have done very well. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, uh, I think actually one of its biggest problems is that 10 Cloverfield Lane was so good. Yeah. And that... That was one of its biggest problems. Yeah. People... <laughs> I think people expected it to be as good or better, and it's like, well, first of all, once again, when it's a completely different director and crew, yeah. you don't know, especially yeah. a guy that hasn't directed any major picture, you don't know, right? It could be anything. Yeah, well, I'm like, well, first of all, Cloverfield Paradox doesn't have John Goodman, so it's not going to be anywhere near as good. That too. It's just not. It's just not fair. And God damn it, Ramona Flowers. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever her real name is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm on it. Who's who, who's also really good? Hmm. But, yeah. Uh, I don't know. It. I think, I think it was just kind of awkward at worst, this movie. Well, there were parts of the story where I felt like the pacing was bad. Mary Elizabeth Winstead. Yeah, there you go. Thanks. Yeah. Nailed no it. problem. Nailed it. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. It was... Yeah, I just think it was kind of awkward at times, but... Yeah. And, and some of the actors were definitely amateurs. I mean, they but they probably didn't cost very much money, so... Which, yep. That's fine. I don't have a problem with that. And a movie in a movie that's going to have this much CGI, I'm like, yeah, you're going to have to save money somewhere. So. CGI was pretty good, though. I thought it was really good. Considering, I was, yeah, I was surprised. I mean, for a budget of forty-five million, I'm like, I mean, it looked better than a Marvel movie. Oh, watch yourself. Oh, I know. Yeah. Well, that's another thing. Then they gave Black Panther a fucking what ninety-seven? Yep. Something like that. Yeah. And no. And it was like every other Marvel movie. Well, watch Too yourself. Too much CGI. Watch, watch, watch yourself. <laughs> Whatever bland predictable story which i mean that's the superhero thing i just don't get why that makes it like a 90 yeah. something yeah well when it made all the money it did that didn't surprise me i was like yeah that, that adds up I, I, yeah I, I, no I, was, I mean they all yeah i was like sure that's money, fine sure yeah but everyone's like oh it's so good i'm like it is not that good it's very average i don't know what no, like i said I, I like it better than quite a few of the other ones, but sure. it's not even close to my favorite. Yeah. So. Yeah. But this, but is, this isn't about Black Panther. I mean, we didn't do an episode on it for a reason because there's nothing to talk about. But. <clears throat> yeah. But. Um, well, yeah, I, I, I can't do it on a. Do an episode on a superhero movie because there's just no substance. Whoa. To do it what? On. I know. What? But whatever. Yeah. This movie was good. That's all that matters. And you should watch because you have Netflix. It's true. You don't even have to go out to the... It's yeah. just right there. You're, you're not even wasting money. Just, just yeah. watch it, man. Yeah. You'll like it. Like... Come on. <laughs> do it. I don't know. Well, it was definitely poking fun of itself. And I think that I think that went over a lot of people's heads. Yes. <laughs> like when uh, his fucking arm came off, like... <laughs> like, like I mean, obviously it was, you know, a serious thing, but it was kind of, it was kind of tongue-in-cheek. I mean, it was serious in how terrifying it was to just see the the arm kind of like crawling toward the, it was gnarly the, yeah for like the yeah like that effect but then once they put it in the the cage and the i think it's trying to write something <laughs> kept cracking jokes and shit I was yeah, like, i'm just yeah, like all right okay yeah well and then um uh, when they first uh power up the the thing whatever the hell it's called shepherd right yeah yeah when they first powered up and then they travel to the next dimension and there's the <laughs> there's a uh, what god damn it, whatever her name is the blonde chick in the fucking wall, man. God, yeah. that was so gnarly. Yeah, that is not. I was, I was like, I, that was I was like, whoa, that's weird. She's in there. Oh, she's in there. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah. I was like, I was like, are we really doing aliens this early? I uh, yeah, I thought the same thing. I was like, oh, their ship's already boarded. It's just gonna be like a boarded alien. <sighs> I was, really? I was really. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I would. I would say like the first. I would say pretty much all the first act, I was just like, meh. 
It was, it was not grabbing me in any, in any way. Well, they took way, way too long to set up Hamilton's character. Well, actually, to set up the whole thing. Uh, Sure. Well, I think part of the problem is that the movie started with her and ended with her. But throughout the rest of it, she did not act like a main character. Or, uh, or yeah. as the main character. Yeah. As the protagonist. Right. But it was cool that they kept you guessing as to who the actual antagonist was. Yep. Because at first you're like, oh, it's going to be this Russian guy. Duh, 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 duh. Here we go. Yep. Totally not. In any way. Well, well I- he died too early to do that. <laughs> yeah. And then even the... Uh, when the antagonist finally freaks out and it's like, nah, this ain't happening. Mm-hmm. It's It was for a normal reason. Right. She's like, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Yeah, she's like, this is going to fuck things up. Yep. Which I'm like, joke's on you. Everything was already fucked up. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I thought all the, basically just all the ways people kept dying were clever. Yes. Uh, yeah, the the only death I didn't like was the death of the captain. Like, uh, he's doing the save himself or save sacrifice himself thing. I'm like, yeah, okay, it was fine, but yeah, it was not that uh, not that interesting. Yeah. I I, th- I, th- I thought it was pretty unnecessary. Mm, sure. Yeah. I, I I feel like part of it too was just like. He's, he was in charge, and he seemed to have a more military-type background. So if he was still around when the other chick lost her shit and was like, nah, this ain't happening, I mean, he would have been able to stop it probably. Well, that's true, yeah. Whereas, you know, the German guy and yeah. the main character. Oh, that was, that was, that was the, the only thing I really didn't like. I didn't like that Schmidt survived. Like, he got shot twice, but fucking... Uh, what his name? The Brazilian dude got shot once in the stomach and he was done like nothing. Yeah, that's fair. I also wondered the same thing. I was like, uh, okay. I don't know. I'm like, he could have just not gotten shot twice. It's true. <laughs> like, you, if you wanted him to live, you could have worked around it. I don't know why you contradicted yourself there. You, re- you really didn't have to. Yeah, and... It's little things like that where I can tell they probably did that just for plot reasons. Where it's like, mm-hmm. she literally can't turn both keys if he's dead. So oh, there has to right. be another person. I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. Sure. Yeah, but then they could have just been like, how about you don't get shot twice? Yeah, I know. Yeah, but... The movie could have been cleaned up. Yeah. But... I would have enjoyed it more if it was cleaned up in those ways, but... I don't think it would have changed any of these other people's opinion on it, so... I think they had their mind made up. Yep. <laughs> Which is fine. Whatever. I don't care. Yeah. They're going to keep making Cloverfield movies, so... Thank God. Thank God. Whatever. I like them. I do, too. Quite a bit. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I was skeptical seeing 10 Cloverfield Lane, but... God damn. I was not. No? No. I mean, I was excited. I'm like, John Goodman is, I mean, he's, he speaks for himself. Yep. I was, it exceeded my expectations somehow. And I was like, hell yeah. It's amazing. Really? Yeah. Mm. No, I mean, that's. Well, because what... they said it was, a, you know, at least 10 Cloverfield Lane. I was like, okay. I did not expect it to actually have aliens at the end. I was. Me either. Fantastic. It was, fa- it was awesome. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I guess some people don't like it, but. I don't know. I th- I think about it too, and I feel like the bar for sci-fi has been set too high, mm. and people are just unreasonable. Yeah, I can like see they, that. They look at some of the sci-fi tropes, and if it has those tropes, they just automatically discard the movie. And I'm like, yeah. Well, you can do different things within the same boundaries. Yeah, these things that have happened. I'm like, a lot of things have a trapped in space feel like 2001 right but they do it differently so it's okay exactly you know 
Yeah, and uh, well, first of all, the aliens in Ten Cloverfield Lane were super cool. That's what I liked about it. Yeah, you know, right? They're like, I'm like, this is not something I would ever like. It was a, an original take on the aliens, right? Well, and then it's like the end of this movie when they're like, they fall through the clouds, and I'm just like, oh, it's probably gonna go to them crashing in the sea, and then they're gonna be like, oh no, once they get out of the yep. escape pod, and then nope, just a giant monster just fucking. Pokes his head out, and that's it. I'm like, that's fucking awesome. Yeah. Yeah, and the guy's freaking out. He's like, no, 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 no. Please don't do this. <laughs> you do not understand. Yeah. They're like, no, we do. And he's like, bruh. <laughs> bruh. Do not do this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I was I was surprised. I'm like, what the fuck? This, this is a chlorophyll. You don't have a happy ending? It's not I, how... I got very worried when the earth was in front of him. I was like... Oh no! Did they just not do the typical Cloverfield thing? Yeah, I'm like they're just gonna survive. What the hell? <laughs> this isn't okay, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. In in that way, they avoided a lot of the tropes, too. Cause sure. I was like, oh, they're gonna get boarded by aliens. Oh, it's going to be like life, and the aliens are going to follow them on the planet. And that's when the aliens are going to get on that planet. I'm like, ugh, I'm not feeling it. Yeah, exactly. Also, what I was thinking about, too, is what I thought was going to happen was that the communications were working, and they were talking to the Earth that they were from, Uh but the Earth that they actually ejected to was not the same one. Oh. That's what I was hoping was going to happen. I where they were too. like, man, we were duped. We were talking to the people on our actual planet. That's not the Earth we flew down to, though. But Oh, that would have been cool. Yeah, but I but also like it the way it is. This is just fine. Yep. This is even more of a <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, basically. Yeah, so I'm like, all right, fine. Yep. And I like large monsters and aliens, whatever. Yeah. I, I hope that, I mean, the next movie... Uh, if it's just aliens, that's fine. But I hope it goes more kaiju, like the original Cloverfield. Because kaiju I is underrated. Don't even know what the next one's gonna be like. God only knows. I mean, if it takes place that early in time, I'm like, man, I don't even. When know. When did you say it was? 1944 or something. And it's like, oh. I don't even. I don't even know where they're gonna go with that one. I don't know how that one's <laughs> going to be Cloverfield. I don't know, but I'm so excited, and it comes out this year. Yep. Is it is it a major release? Uh, I don't know. Or oh, okay. I think that's probably not even decided at this point. You're probably right. Yep. But well, because I even when I was looking up this one, they said that the Cloverfield paradox takes place in 2028. Okay. And the original movie takes place in like I think it was. 2013. Oh. So I was like, wait, so it's not the same monsters. No. Not the same same aliens. Hmm. Which made me think I'm like, is it just a just a different earth then? I think so. You know? Maybe it's maybe working with a different timeline. Maybe that's why they did this movie with the whole multidimensional thing. Yeah. Kinda solves itself there. Yep. You know. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I just assumed that they're fucking with space and all that starts the first movie off right which leaves the first movie as a mystery still which I still enjoy yeah but people people just then I thought about it and I was like was there any major reason why that date is specific in the first one I was like oh yeah because it's found footage right date is throughout the entire film right but well in I don't know people just when they see a movie, they like to be, have questions asked and then answered. Like, that's it. They just like the satisfaction of that. And none of these movies do that, really. No. Well, especially the first Cloverfield. It didn't answer anything. Yeah. I think that's a good thing. Yep. Well, yeah, I mean, especially with the found footage film. Yeah. You, you kind of have to do it that way. Yeah. Well, you know, it's no different than, like, <clears throat> Blair Witch. And, like, I like Blair Witch, too, but... I don't understand how you could like Blair Witch and not like the original Cloverfield. I agree because it's better. But. 
Well, I think the first problem with Cloverfield is that they pitched it while well, it was advertised as like a horror movie, and it is to some extent, but it's not really the same. I mean, they're all suspense. Yeah, suspense. I wouldn't say any of them are really horror. Yeah, but like Blair Witch is a horror movie. Yeah. That's the difference. Yeah, I'm just saying. I don't know. Overall, I like this one kind of bit, quite a bit, and I just, I don't, I don't, I don't get the criticisms, but whatever. Yeah, I mean, it's... 10 Cloverfield Lane? No. Still like it a lot. Nothing is. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, that's, that's one of the best movies I've seen in recent years, in general. Yeah. 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 But... <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. People never like the whole, but fuck you aliens anyway. Yeah. And those people are wrong. Yeah. But whatever. I don't know. These are the same people that also watch Annihilation. They're like, this movie's not that good. I'm like, well, you're wrong. Oh, yeah, no, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Also, I I <clears throat> did not know that it was going to take place in space 100%. I had no idea what the movie was about in any way. Oh, no, I... I totally knew that nope. was a thing. And when they're like, the world's out of energy, I'm like, I also didn't know this was a thing. I didn't know that was going to be the issue. I knew that they... When it was still under the working title of God Particle, I right. read like well, the brief synopsis of this film. I also didn't know that's what it was originally called. Yeah, apparently they in the original script it got like Waste Science about Higgs boson and all that. It should have stayed should. that way. No. They mentioned like Higgs boson once. I'm like, you know, when, well, when they're like, we're in a different dimension, they start talking about all that. I'm like, go deeper with this weird quantum physics shit. Go deeper. And they didn't. And I get it, but I would have liked it. Yeah. But, you know, then they really would have lost people. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. You well, know. and then people will start fact checking them and that just gets annoying. It's uh, like, all right, all right. It's best to avoid that. Yeah. yeah. They're like, well, actually... And then you get Neil deGrasse Tyson on Twitter be like, actually, yes, we get it. You're smart. You're not the only one with a fucking physics degree, man. Get get the hell out of here. Yeah. But that that's another conversation. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't uh, know. I liked it. Yeah, I also liked it. Would I watch it again? Maybe? I don't know. I was thinking about that. I don't know why I wouldn't. I watch all the other ones. Again. I don't know why I would. I don't know. I'd watch Cloverfield again. I'd watch Ten Cloverfield Lane again. Yeah, but I don't think I'd pick up anything new if I watched this one again. I don't feel like I would in those ones either. Maybe Ten Cloverfield Lane, but that'd be about it. I don't know. They just seem like good. Throw in the background. Just kind of watch it happen. Watch it unfold again. Yeah, I guess so. Hear the fucking rat ass jokes. So good. Halfway through. So good. Oh yeah, man. I don't know. People just uh, don't like loose ends. Yeah. I don't know. I I feel like not a lot of people focused on the political side too. Which I just thought was kind of interesting. Yeah. That all the planets were like, Well, we're all fucked. Or all the countries were yeah. like, Well, we're all fucked. Uh we should try to do something about this. All right. So they all, like, send a single person onto a team. Right. You know? Yeah. And, and then some com- some countries were like, man, fuck these other countries. They're taking too long. We're just going to fight you for your resources. Right. Yeah, because that's unfortunately accurate. Yeah. No, that, that is a, I, I don't know that we'd even set a, a, a joint space station up like that. It'd just be the war. But, yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's... <laughs> Probably. But, yeah. You know? I mean, it wasn't, like, super revolutionary, like, crazy politics. No. But I was like, eh, that's a, that's a nice thing. Yeah, it's not just like, oh, you guys are working on a space station. Well, what's the space station doing? Eh, something. Something. You know? Yeah, well, and then I was like, man, are they really going to make the Russian the antagonist this early? Yeah. Come on, man. Well, then they're like, take it the easy German, on them. And I'm like, really? Like, take it easy on them. The Russians and the Germans? Man. They're like, jokes on you is the Irish. I'm like, I never saw that coming. The Irish. Oh, was she Irish? That's what it, that was. Wait, no, she was probably British. Yeah. Well, no. She was British. 
No, because, well, what confused, I guess, what, how, why I got confused, she was wearing a suit that had oh. the Irish flag on it, but I'm like, wait a minute, yeah. that no, wasn't no, no, her no. suit. Yeah. Right, no. right, yeah. Yeah. So, well, yeah, then the British, the British are probably the antagonists anyway. Can't trust them. Can't trust them. Yeah. Yep. I don't know. It was fun. Yeah. I don't know what more you want. Good flick. I need more Cloverfield. Oh, so much more. I gotta rewatch the other ones again. I know. I really want Netflix to do an entire deal with Cloverfield so they can just keep giving me Cloverfield movies. That and then they and then the, all all the old ones are on Netflix. That's really, that's what I really want. Yep. I don't know. I just seventeen. I know. I want to talk about the movie more, but God, why? Why? I don't know. <sighs> also, I like this movie, so now I'm thinking, man, maybe Mute is also as good as I hoped it would be. Yes, because that also got a shit score, but now I just like there's clearly a bias here. Yeah, it just doesn't add up. I'm just like, mm. I mean, they're a little amateurish, but I've seen any movies that are amateurish get better reviews than this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Almost every indie movie that's amateurish yeah. gets a better score than a 17. Just for the fact that it takes a lot to make an indie movie. Yes. So I'm like, well, maybe you guys should stop being biased and yeah. shitty. Well, I don't know. I think this movie had a little less character than it could have. They didn't go all Cloverfield with it, which I feel like they could have. You know what I mean? It didn't have as much of an aesthetic as it could have. It was a little bland in that regard. I Part of the problem is when it started as a movie that wasn't 10 or wasn't Cloverfield. Mm. I feel like that's oh. the problem. When you try to throw that shit in like halfway through, yeah, then it's hard to do. Yeah, pretty much. It's like... That's why 10 Cloverfield Lane works, though. Because if you didn't throw the Cloverfield aspect on, it's still a fucking really good movie. Oh, my God. But then, if you throw in the, the Cloverfield stuff... It makes it like, better. Oh, yeah. This 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 adds something to it. But without it, it was still a really good movie. This one... I don't know what the movie would be like if it didn't have the Cloverfield elements. Right. It just seems weird. Yeah. Well, and you know... So I understand why J.J. J. Abrams was talking about this movie and he's like yeah no it's it's gonna be the next one in the series I get right. why they chose this one right. and singled it out as the mm-hmm. next Cloverfield yeah well and I don't know I don't know if these movies are necessarily comparable which is what I'm thinking about I think this movie had just as good if not a better story than uh, sh- The Shape of Water way better yeah yeah it was actually you know interesting yeah, it wasn't. Like it wasn't said, fucking stupid. The tropes. They, it. They're both movies based on old tropes. Yeah. This one was way more innovative and new in terms of those, with like the way the people were getting killed and shit. Right. Than the Shape of Water was with its fucking story. <sighs> the more I think about the Shape of Water, the less I like it. Me too. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just being a contrarian no I don't think so <laughs> okay I think I would struggle to get through that movie a, a second time yeah like well, really really str- that movie dragged this movie didn't really drag it, it the the beginning was kind of slow but uh it dragged see I didn't feel like the beginning was the problem it dragged like right after the Chinese lady died really yeah, Aww. it just kind of slowed down there, and I, uh, I was like... I mean, it took a break for sure, over. but I don't know. <sighs> I felt bad. I was like, I feel like you're the only one, only competent one on this fucking ship. Yeah. <laughs> like, the rest of you are out of your fucking mind. Yeah, but 100%. She, but she was like, yeah, I have, I have my shit together. Yep. And then she died. <laughs> yep. Also, though, shout out to the realism of, of how she died. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, yeah. I, uh, Star Wars like explosions in space, and everybody's like, eh, "That's not really how that would not have been." And this one could have been like, 
water in space. Yeah. But it was like, no, just like instantly I felt, throw salt. I felt, like such a nice. fuck, I felt like such a fucking idiot. I was waiting for the water to fall out into space, and I was like, wait a minute. That is not how that would happen in any way. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. Just, I'm surprised, yeah. You, you, you didn't bring that up already, actually. Yeah. I mean, you're not Neil deGrasse Tyson level, but occasionally you, you point shit out. And you're yeah. Like, Seems weird. Yeah, I mean, it just it just depends. Yeah, it depends how egregious it is. Sure, but <laughs> one, it depends on how they handle it. Star Wars is like, yeah, yeah, no, bitch. Explosions don't happen in space, but it adds something to it, so it doesn't fucking matter. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. If you're gonna make mistakes, you better justify them. Right. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, go I see just it. Thought there was yeah. Uh, Go see it. Yeah. Go to your bedroom. Turn on the TV and watch this movie. Yep. Please. Uh, that's another. Please tell Netflix we need more movies like this. Tell them watch it. God damn it! Don't let these fucking Rotten Tomato idiots <laughs> ruin these great movies. Yeah. And ruin original, original ideas. Because right now all they're telling them is we just want the same thing. All they're telling. The movie industry is, we just want the same thing over and over again. We want it super Hollywood. We want it super simple. And we don't want to say anything of note or anything original. Right. I mean, that's all I see. Mm-hmm. But with this, something new entirely. Yeah. Well, even Bright, you know? Yeah. That movie would have been way different if it was not a Netflix movie. Oh, yeah. Way well, it probably wouldn't different. have existed. Well... No, I think it would have. It would have been super mind numbing and terrible. Yeah, and it was all right, but that that one was a very. I don't know. It was pretty run of the mill. I think that's that was its problem. Like, well, if you want to do something different, then do something different. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah, I feel like they. Uh, when Max Landis was like, "I want to be involved," I'm like, "You probably should have let him be involved. He probably would have." Uh, would have helped with the actual directing. Yeah, I know. Instead of changing his script and probably ruining it in certain ways, probably should have let him be. Involved. Yeah, but that's fine. What the fuck else is new? <laughs> but I also understand why Netflix decided that one of the first big movies that they were going to do, they wanted David Ayers to direct. I'm like, eh, I get why you chose him. Suicide Squad and like. All those movies or whatever. No. No, I get it. From like a play it safe standpoint, where it's like, you can just make like a blockbuster that people will go see. I'm like, yeah, I, I get why you chose him, but. I guess I understand what you're saying, but David Ayer should never direct a movie ever again. I mean, you're wrong, but that's okay. We, we can't get he's back. He's fine. He's not great, but, you know, he's not Zack Snyder, so that's really safe. Well, something to be said for that. Yep. But they're both terrible. They're not great. Actually, Suicide Squad, I don't know if it's really his fault. It was the writing. It was all the writing. God. Because from like a design standpoint. Well, no one can write a DC movie, apparently. Huh? I said no one can write a DC movie, apparently. Well, yeah, now I'm starting to wonder if it's just like... (laughs) Maybe DC just... kind of a curse (laughs) forever. They're just never going to be able to make a good movie because... (laughs) Once Christopher Nolan... Left DC alone, they're just done. <laughs> I mean, it makes you wonder, you know? Yeah. Because, yeah, they... Uh, but, I mean, anything Christopher Nolan touches turns to gold. But, but then at the same time, I say that as someone who just doesn't like superhero movies, but these other people think Marvel is good, but DC is bad. I'm like... I mean, I'll admit DC is significantly worse than Marvel, but it doesn't make Marvel good. Yeah. But... <laughs> The best at Marvel is consistent at best. That's all he... Right. But if you've seen one superhero movie, you've seen them all. Except for Deadpool. Except for Deadpool. Yeah. Mm, even then. <laughs> it's just a different version of Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> it's just a yeah. lot of hilarious jokes and good music. It's true. And style. You know? But you know what? I'll take that in a movie. I won't take the same recycled garbage. Yeah. That was, that we've been seeing since the Avengers. I mean, no, the Avengers was good. Uh, God, it was so fucking. 
Anyway. This is... <sighs> we, we, we could do an entire episode on why people should stop watching superhero movies, but... Who has the time? Us, maybe, at some point. <laughs> yeah, I feel like nobody gives a shit either. Yeah, I know. They're like, no, I gotta go see this blockbuster superhero movie. I'm like, well... Don't do that. And I got to see it in 3D. And then we could have a whole episode on how fucking awful 3D is. Yeah. Oh, my God. I forgot how bad it was until we saw Black Panther in 3D. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> my main problem was I realized that the last time I saw a 3D movie, I was in a really small, like I had a really p- small pair of glasses. Mm-hmm. So the glasses actually fit. Right. But now that I have big framed glasses, it was terrible. Oh, yeah. I, I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't fit it accurately over my glasses. So oh, I I mean, I saw not, I saw so them. it was like just far enough away from my nose that I think it actually fucked with oh. the 3D effect. It's see, weird. I no, I. Uh, I could see the screen just fine without my glasses. See, I can't do that. So, so I just put on. I just wore the 3D glasses solo. Yeah. That was my main problem. Yeah. Where I just thought about it, and I was like, "Man, can we not the 3D come up with a better 3D, 3D glasses?" The, the 3D glasses were not good. The, or the 3D was not good. Yeah. Trust me, <laughs> it's sure. not you. Anyway, but fair enough. I mean, I feel bad that we didn't talk about Clover, Cloverfield enough on this episode, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Well, this. Well, Good. There's just not that many good movies coming out right now. Oh, it's such a drought, it's man. It's just not. And good. like even this movie, it really was. I mean, it wasn't great. It was good, and I liked it, and it did some cool things. But like, I don't know. but having watched it, I'm like, yeah, that would have been miles better than anything that's currently showing in theaters. Yeah. Straight up. I mean, yeah, it's the best thing I've seen since Annihilation. Yeah. But Annihilation was so good, it wasn't even fair. Yeah. But the, uh, people even misunderstood that movie, so. <sighs> I have to think. S- nope, don't sign me up for that. I don't want to watch it then. No? No. Mm. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway. At some point, maybe we'll start getting movies that are worth a fuck. God, I hope so. But. I feel like we got a couple things coming up. Yeah. I mean, there's things I want to see coming up. I don't know if they're. Well, that uh, a Quiet Place movie should should be pretty good. Yeah, God, I hope so. I feel like, uh, please, I need <laughs> something. I feel like it can live up to my expectations. But yeah, other than that, but God, I don't well, know. well, I mean, this is mostly just about how Cloverfield is so underrated. Just a good franchise. Yeah, they know what they want. They do it. Yeah, it's just great. I know. Also, after seeing this one, yeah. I, everybody said this one, they're like, oh, the franchise, yeah, it's got problems. I'm like, no, it doesn't. No, it the franchise doesn't. is totally fine. This was a. <laughs> that was the only thing that saved this movie. <clears throat> was that was a Cloverfield movie. If you it ask definitely me. helped. Yeah. That's what I mean. I can't imagine watching this one without it being related to Cloverfield. Yeah. I mean, like, then it's really right. like a life well, or something. Right. It's, well, it's not- the worst thing they did in this movie was not take fewer risks than they could have they could have taken a lot more risks yeah gotten a lot more weird with it and i think it would have benefited i mean i like weird movies so i'm a little biased but yeah yeah should should have taken way more risks yeah but they played safe and from a cloverfield movie that played it safe they did just fine yeah (laughs) yeah i don't know i just keep thinking back to like the just even the scene of that girl like tangled with all that shit I'm just like I don't know that shot and that entire scene kind of makes up for all the other problems I have with the story of the movie right that was cool as shit and then then the guy's arm like getting trapped in the wall I was like that is also cool as shit right and then the Russian guy like we never quite figured out what the hell was wrong with him but like the fucking uh, whatever the hell it was called was in his stomach yeah and his eye was disagreeing with him it was weird it was like he was like well, possessed. Like, yeah, I thought he was like possessed by someone. And then and I was like the worms inside of him, and then he. Had the, I thought he was like possessed by himself, which sounds him. weird. You know, like if his other dimensional version merged I, with him. Yeah, uh, that might have been the case. Actually, now that right. I'm thinking about it. Yeah. 
because well, I mean, he already distrusted the German, but then in the other dimension, the German w- was a was not trustworthy. Yeah, so then he acted on that. Yep. You know what? I think I just saw that one. Good for me. Yeah. Yeah. Point is, yeah. they were cool scenes. I was yeah. Like you know what? Nice. Yeah, it wasn't stand out, but you know. Yeah. The deaths were cool, and that's all I can ask for. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Anyway. See it. Support Cloverfield, please. Please. There's another one coming out this later this year. If it's on Netflix, watch it. If it's in the theaters, go watch it, please. Yeah. I need more of this franchise. <laughs> please, JJ. Please. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, yeah. That'll do it. Yeah. Thank God. Hopefully, next time you hear this, there will be less of a fucking drought. It'll be a little better. It'll be something. God, I hope something comes. But, yeah. anyway. Anyway. Yeah. That's it. That's it. <laughs>